Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Back to the Future Part 4, The Multitasking Crystal. For more point and click adventure game action, we are right back where we left off, here at Stonehenge, about to hopefully place the last three of these crystal shards, and see what happens to this altar when we do so. Um, but first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video, so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So let's do this then. Um, Nothing else to do except place these things down. So that's three. Put the SK down next. And then the last one, ING. I put the shards together, but they should melt some way. Maybe by casting a spell. Okay, so we've got the multitask in there. I'm wondering if perhaps that's what we need the sonic screwdriver for from um, Doctor Who. I can only tell you this. This is the sonic screwdriver. It could be useful to charge or give energy. Yes, I reckon we're going to need that. Let me know when you'll need it. Uh, I think I need it now. I mean, I think I need it now, man. This is the sonic screwdriver. It could be useful to charge or give energy. Let me know when you'll need it. How do I let him know? Maybe there's something else back there. I put the shards together, but they should melt some way. Maybe by casting a spell. Uh, okay. It doesn't look like we can... I'm guessing we need the sonic screwdriver. Unless we've got something else. Um, how can we melt them together? Maybe the rocket pack thing? Jet pack? No. Uh, okay, maybe the gun? No. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing we need the sonic screwdriver then. The question is, how do we get it off of him? <laughs> no, we can't use that. Um, unless we can give him the screwdriver that we have. Okay, he's not interested. How the hell... Do we get the sonic screwdriver off of him? I ain't got time for you, Only I can only tell you this. This is the sonic screwdriver. It could be useful to charge or give... And it's got to be that, hasn't it? Let me know when you'll need it. I, I kind of need it now. <laughs> Don't I? I think I do. I mean... We're sort of... We can talk... I don't really know. <laughs> How do we get it off of him? Let me know when you'll need it. Okay. Um, can we use it now? Like, I don't... I don't really get what else we've got to do, man. Like, <laughs> can we maybe get it from him in one of the different time zones? Can we try that? I mean, we can't even talk to him in this time zone, so... Guessing that's a no for here. Um, what about 2140 then? Can we do that? Can we talk to him here? No, it doesn't look like it, does it? What the hell? Hmm, okay. Let's go back to 1985 then. Unless there's something else that we need. Um... I don't know. Do we have any other items? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, maybe we have missed something somewhere then. Let's try having a look. We'll go back to the moon. And try up there. Okay, guys, um, I have been off camera back to every single area in this game and spent, if I look at my clock, about 27 minutes searching every single little pixel <laughs> trying to find <laughs> what it is that we needed to do. Um, there must have been something we missed, and I've, I've finally found it. Um, as I said, 27 minutes. 
yeah I'm probably going to cut that 27 minutes out because I doubt anyone's going to want to watch me doing that. I know it's a blind playthrough and it's part of it, but I'm sure you guys have seen me trawl every area enough by now. So I came here and I literally ran my mouse along every single one of these books. And by the way, this was the last place that I came to, as always, is the way with these things. And there's a book here. Um, now, I will point out, I don't actually know if this is what we need. <laughs> so we might take this book or get an error message and I might have to go once again and find something else but I'm f hoping fingers crossed that this is something we can use and nothing's happened brilliant um did we take oh we took it okay oh geez right a book the day the earth stood still Klaatu Barada Nikto it sound, oh, it sounds like a spell. Okay, that's going to be what we need then, isn't it? He said maybe a spell. Didn't he say maybe a spell? Oh, jeez. Flipping out. That took me a long time. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's all part of the fun of it. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a good old-fashioned bit of pixel hunting there, so I'm not going to complain too much about it because that's what these games were like. And I love these type of games, so it is part and parcel of playing them, but... <laughs> oh, God, that was a... A part of my life I'm never going to get back, put it that way. <laughs> but we've finally done it, so we can head on, and hopefully this is what we needed. I'm sure when he said, when we looked at it before, he said something about a spell. But then again, it was, you know, half an hour ago that I did that, and I've kind of forgotten. So maybe we need to use the sonic screwdriver on the book. We'll try the book on the crystal shards first, and then if that doesn't work, then we'll try it with Doctor Who. Um, let's look actually, see what he said. Maybe by casting a spell, yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's what we needed. Flipping hell, how did we miss that right back at the beginning of the game? I guess it was such a small little area of the screen that I didn't see it. There we go, me missing things, it does happen. Okay, let's see if it works. Klaatu, Barada, Nikto. Ooh, nice animation. Amazing, it worked. Damn, where is that kid? Damn. Damn. How many seconds times he's going to say damn? <laughs> I'm here, I'm looking at this multitasking crystal. Perfect, just perfect. It's empty. In these conditions, it won't work. I must recharge it. That's going to be what we need the sonic screwdriver for, I'll bet. So, we've got the multitasking crystal now. Let's go and see if Doctor Who will charge this for us. Can you empower it? Yes! Come on, Doctor, you can do it. Sure I can. I'll use my sonic screwdriver. Got it! Ah, oh, I'm coming, Doc! Okay, so it's gone green now. Okay, so here they are, the three of them. That monster made me lose time. Where are all the prisoners? They're gone, mate. The Three-headed monkey! <gasps> oh, no. He's out. I feel there's a noble, uneasy spirit. Three-headed monkey let him out. No. Hey, Doc. Marty. You're late. Do you have no concept of time? What? I'm sorry, Marty, but you arrived late. How's hey, the dude from Loom? The demonic ghost, William Dogfish Tannen, has freed himself. No, Dogfish is back. I'd love to know how this was possible. This time was not my fault. No, it was the free-headed monkey. Tannen managed to free Chaos. Quiet, Marty. Something in your district goes wrong. Who will you call? Oh, yeah, we're going to call He-Man. <laughs> the Ghostbusters! The Ghostbusters! The Ghostbusters! Who? Pretty heavy, huh? Guess we're calling the Ghostbusters. What? Runts, you freed Chaos, the Lord of Destruction, King of the Dead. Me, powerful spirit, you will never stop me. <laughs> yeah, sure. Are you ready, Emmett? Yes, I am! Nice. We're being zapped. Uh, what do we do? 
Don't we need the box thing? Oh god, I love the music. Uh, guys, what do I do? Do we need the box thing? Can we go in there? Uh, no. We can't go to the airport. Oh, there's the box. It's there, look. That was convenient. What the hell? Why did the music like kind of lag out there? <laughs> okay, I guess we could just use the box on them. Use it on chaos. Oh, cool! Nice. They're trapped. Uh, do we have to do anything or? Don't think so. There we go. Loading, please wait. So we've trapped Chaos and Dogfish again. So they're both in there now. I mean, that was easier to win against. There we go. The end. Back to the Future Part 4, the multitasking crystal. Wow, there we go. What a cool little game. Um, I don't think I enjoyed it quite as much as Timeline of Monkey Island, if I'm honest, but it's still a pretty solid game. Um, loads of different areas to explore, loads more references in the previous game as well. It's just packed tons with films, movies, games, just literally everything you can think of. TV shows. Yeah, it was it was really cool. Um, my one thing that I didn't like was that puzzle. Um, I think it was the last episode or the one before where we had to have played the game to know the code to get through that keypad. That that kind of was the one feature of it that kind of bugged me. Um, but all in all, another good fun addition to the series. Um, I've also been told that a part five is in the works and is about halfway complete. So we'll be checking that out at some point when it does come out. But yeah, man, the, the end boss was easier on this one. I think that's that's one thing as well that maybe could have been done a bit better, but it was, it was really cool with the Ghostbusters music and just taking those two guys down. Dogfish was out for like 10 seconds before we recaptured him, so... <laughs> but yeah, actually, there were some really cool references in this, and I learned a few references as well from you guys in the comments, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I want to thank all you guys for stopping by and, and checking out this game with me. And um, for everyone who subscribed, existing subscribers, everyone who stopped by to watch this series, I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, and if you enjoyed the series, make sure you hit that like button, because it really does help the channel to grow. Next up, we will be playing Tales of Monkey Island, which is the final Monkey Island game, and the, the one I haven't played, so... Gonna be looking forward to playing that. Um, yeah, got plenty more things to play, don't worry, plenty more point-and-click games. Um, as I said, part 5 of this will be out soon, and I'll definitely be checking that out. But yeah, all in all... A worthy sequel, I think, to Timeline of Monkey Island. A um, couple of little ways it could have been polished, I think. A couple of little areas where there wasn't an English translation on certain things, but, you know, I, I don't really mind that, if, if I'm completely honest. For a fan-made game, it's very, very good, as was the, the one that came before it, so it does not phase me in the slightest. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for all your comments, for all your support, everything on this series. It's been really good. Um, and I'm glad you guys are loving these games as much as I am because I'm having an absolute blast. So, thank you for watching this series. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time for Tales of Monkey Island.